gods of the sea. I've never begrudged you no gifts. Grant me another victory, so I can make you another offer and let me loot. Don't mind me. Fuck, what now? Heard you were in Keridan's band. Fucking say what you want. Come on, spit it out, you arse-licking bastard. I'm looking for Yad Keridan. And just who the hell are you? A friend of a friend. I'm looking for Keridan. Thought maybe we could make some sort of deal. What? Our business robbing some Novigrad tricks the wrong way? Plowing guilds. Come on, what are you waiting for? Kill the fucker! Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Must have broken many a heart, eh, Bandy?
Seems to me I've heard of you before, White Hair. That reptile gaze of yours don't scare me. What the hell took you? Pretty likely Keratin lives in Novigrad, and he never severed ties with Hammond. They're actually in business together. Hmm. Learn something too. He trades in, uh, live goods on the sly. Owns a ship called the Pearl of the Coast. Runs between here and Skellige. Changed his name, too, to Roland Truger, who officially is a respected Novigrad trader and philanthropist. Has a residence in Gildorf. Anything on Salise? Hmm. Well, didn't have you there to stand up for her. Let's pay Carrot in a visit. I think I know how to get in. I got a plan. If your plan doesn't include dealing with an escort of guardsmen, best revise it. Calm now. Let them start it. You're expected. Come in. Make yourselves at home. He's a witcher. Very true. Allow me to introduce my wife, Letitia, and my two little tots. You know who I am, and I've heard of you. You've been asking many questions about me. That always draws my attention. What school do you come out of? That of the cat. So few of us left. Witchers can't have children. But they can have wards, or take in a woman along with her children, embrace them as their own. I could understand a witcher becoming a hired assassin, but a merchant? Why ever not? Not one among us doesn't dream of changing our life. I simply did not stop at dreaming. They say no witcher has ever died in his bed. I aim to be the first. Remains to be seen. My friend needs to talk to you. Lads, take the children and Letitia and leave us. Our guests wish to speak to me. I'm all ears. Talk to him, Geralt. If I do, first word he says to me, I'll lose it and throttle the fucker. Your wife know who you were? We are thoroughly honest with one another, harbor no secrets. She prays for me each day. You know what? I think it's working. Fucking hell. Relax, Lambert. I confessed all just before we pledged to marry one another. Began a new life that day, with a clean slate. Nice place you got. As it turned out, I have a flair for enterprise. Now I have coin enough to provide my family with the finer things in life. With some left over for philanthropy. Miss Marabella's institute does not scorn small donations. Neither does the city's Widows and Orphans Relief Fund, amongst others. Remember Aiden? A witcher. Murdered in Elander. Guessing the killers were paid well. 
I remember him as I remember all the others, with the deepest regret. Yet Aiden was different in a way. Contrary to rumor, we did not set out to kill him. We were forced to when he attacked us. What's your version of this story? Aiden had accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Duke's daughter. He took the coin, bungled the job, then left once the girl passed on. You lie. We were not to kill him. We were debt collectors. He'd spent the coin already, so we demanded his swords. When he refused, tempers flared. Vienne, positioned as a sniper, lost her nerve. Hit Aiden square in the eye. Later, she devised her own version of the story. To silence her guilt, I expect. I've heard enough. What now? You've changed. You have. Forgiveness. It's my sole aim now. You're buying this bullshit? Bastard's lying his ass off. Leave him. Let's go. You off your fucking nut? Lambert, this is one of those situations when you have to realize you're pissed as hell. Rein it in, and trust your cool-headed friend. Let's go. For fuck's sake, Geralt. Don't know that I'll be able to forgive you. I said let's go. You can always come back. Thank you. Explain yourself. Don't intend to. Just felt Carradin didn't deserve to be murdered in cold blood. If you feel otherwise, you can always go back. Without me. I feel like beating the shit out of you. See you later. Someday. So long, Lambert. Greetings, Master. Hear about the contract. Really got an imp problem? Or is that just an imp perfection in the notice? You ought not jest, Master Witcher. I know the creatures are only to exist in fairy tales, yet I saw one with my own eyes as it stole from my stall. So what's this imp look like? Like a mean, fat cat, but a very large one. Uh, this tall, see? And it walked upon its hind paws. What did it swipe from you? Once it was bread, uh, then a fish, then apples. Might not seem like much, but add it together and the business suffers. And I'm hardly alone in being pestered. It's nicked something from every stand in the square. So, 
Will you teach it a lesson with your silver sword? Make it worth my while and I will. Demand for witches is high, supplies low. I pick and choose my contracts these days. Fine negotiation on your part, Master. So be it. We'll call it agreed. Relax. I'll help you. Small businesses are the foundation of a healthy economy, and so on and so on. Thank you, Master Witcher. I don't know if this will be of use, but most recently the thief leapt over that wall and ran into a passageway. It was the last I saw of him and a few of my wares. Blasphemous kobold. Merchant was right. Actually does look like a giant cat. Ah! Looks like the imp dropped some loot. Went this way. Drop down into the moat. Trail ends here. No loitering round here. end here. Boot prints start there. Could it be the puss in boots? Doors wide open. Interesting. A letter? Well, well. Our imp's at least literate, if not outright educated. to track him down. Rare sight. An elf and a guard of the eternal fire having a friendly chat. Friendly? Nothing further from the truth. This racist here has demanded to search me for no reason at all. You's a non human, I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't find anything on you. Now piss off to the woods, go play your flute. That was some pretty bad acting. 
Really ought to explore other career options. Petty theft, maybe. You dare insult an officer on duty? Let me give you some advice, mutant. Look who's talking. I know you're a Doppler and a kleptomaniac. Merchants put out a contract on me! <sighs> Always the same old shit. Hey, wait! Really want to see an angry witcher. Do you? Damn, I look old. Please, stop. I surrender. Might be able to look like a witcher, but that won't make you fight like one. You're donning your skins enough to know what kind of man you are, what you feel. You learn something, but not everything. I spare any monsters that aren't dangerous. Thing is, you attacked me, unprovoked, so that doesn't apply to you. Did one or not decorates us all. Greetings, Master. Problem solved. That imp of yours turned out to be a Doppler. Kept shape-shifting until I took its head. A Doppler? It seems we've no means to rid ourselves of this scourge. We burn one, another appears. Accursed pests. Perhaps now they'll give the market a wide berth at the least. I thank you, Master Witcher, in my own name, and the guilds. Scrofula, 
You again? Want some more? Bruises on your ass heel already? On God, I say! Victory will be mine this time! I've practiced with shield and sword, many a headless scarecrow round here. Heed my warning and stand and fight! Don't have time to give you another lesson. Tis I shall give thee the lesson! Yes, but next time... Go back to mate Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again!
Don't let him catch his breath! We'll flail your skin. of power should draw from it. Bailiff's a harsh man. Best not cause any trouble at the inn. What's all this? Not your concern, that's what. Not an expert or anything, but you two look like you could use some help. Aye, it's true, we could. Barn's full up with some manner of beast. Barred them inside, but that won't hold long. And we'll be in a world of woe once they're loose. We're not rich, but cut the filth down, and we will pay you. Fine, I'll try to help you. We'll let you in the barn, then open the doors once it's over. Quick, Master Witcher, or they'll get out! True enough. Here's your pay, and thanks for your help. Farewell.
Looking for Roach. No one here by that name. Anything else? I see. And behind you, that's a berry picker's camp? We're, uh, bird watchers. Let me guess. That sword's in case you run into a hornbill. No. Hornbills aren't endemic to this area. Don't migrate here either. I get it. You're the local funny man. What was that? Funny? How you mean that? Call that a punch? Ha! Fuck you up! Fuck you up! Ah! Move your ass, Grey Air! Call that a punch! Come on! Move your ass, Grey Air! Oh, fucking bitch! Grey old favourite. You got a fist of stone. What the fuck ah. are you accosting me for? <coughs> Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Vernon Roach, Tamaria's last hope. Laugh all you want. Tamaria will rise again. Roach, I cannot abandon them. I you can and must, because those are your orders. They'll die, please. We're done. Dismissed. How do you wind up here? Came with the army, of course. Its remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything. Threw it all away to hell and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the Second Temerian Army under John Natalis. We were to stop the Black One's advance along the dull Blathana Mount Carbon line. And we did. For three days. Then they smashed us into splinters. Soon after, I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. That he'd promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis' army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than a mere. So I decided I would mount my own fight. What do you do here? Hunt Scoyatel? You jest, right? Who cares about the Scoyatel anymore? Temeria. That's what matters. Looking for Horson Jr. I've heard of him. Though I'm not sure why you think he might be in my camp. Heard some birds chirping. You've got some of the same friends. Both seem to count Radovid among your allies. These birds. They're terribly talkative. I'll need to see them. You'll have to point them out. Mm-hmm. Meantime, Vernon. Willing to help, or do I need to keep looking? Hmm. As always, you've more luck than you deserve. I'm on my way to meet my Redanian contact. We're meeting near Oxenfurt, at a chess club. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. Which? They can't catch the pox. Isn't that right? You trouble me, Greylocks. Oh! Oi! Clumsy oh. arse! Oi! Clumsy arse! We'll pay for a free Temeria without blood. Damn the blackies! The Witcher. Just what our band of merry men. Witches. 
They can't I aim to open a hall in, right? in Vizima. Oh, you trouble me, Great Ox. Saggy rugs on the walls and foul smelling candles. You've been here, you've been there. As I tell me. Now, witches, they can't catch the fox in that run. Greetings. Is it herbs you seek? Medicines to mute a bashful maid's inhibitions? Or a concoction to raise your own courage for a second go? That it? No other weeds or brews? Aye. One to make your hair grow. Another to do the opposite. An easer of pain, a calmer of heartburn. Tell me what ails you. Know any advanced formulae? Maybe something you could teach me? All I know, I learned from Master Gremist of Skelliger. Looking to apprentice yourself in the herbalist trade? Nah, I just want to learn something new. Call it what you will. You must sail across the Great Sea. Find the Isle of Ard Skellig. There, in the sacred grove, the learned Master Gremist will judge whether you're fit to be his pupil. Let me have a look. So long.
One word and I'll cut you in the scots. My contact should be... Ready? My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over with. Your contact. Who is it? Slippery little bugger. I'd have nothing to do with him. Were the circumstances any different? You mean you don't trust him? I trust no one. Including you. Come on. Something's not right. Let's see what. Checkmate. They say it's the game of kings. That chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish. Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher, do you know why I play chess? To kill time? I have no time to squander. Let alone kill. I play chess to reveal the game's secret. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub. Dub dub. Dub dub. A heart pumping with life. <laughs> I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open. Squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? Yes, sire. Believe I do. You know shit. You're merely humoring me. I was not speaking literally. First hidden truth. A monarch is always surrounded by fools. Understand? I think I do now. Unimportant. Let us speak. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. Expected a Redanian spy. I had no idea we'd be meeting a king. When you've an opportunity to emit intermediaries, I'd suggest you avail yourself of it. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Horson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well.
You'd just give me a man, after investing coin and time in him? Can't help but wonder why. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Almost. I'll expect you to return the favor. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. We must speak another time. Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. Surround it before I lose my patience.
We'll deal with the witches. Redania. Long live run of it. Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill Olgard and Vic. Uh, must be a misunderstanding. Flank the bastard!
degenerate. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. Nailed it to the wall. What the sandwich fuck is this? No! Fuck me! Help me for fuck's sake! No one's coming. Hello, Junior. I've come to talk. I'll do whatever you want. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking bird? Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... Uh, I, I, I remember. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Want to know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie to be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then, then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We'd made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? That girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all! Just the way it happened. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. You can't leave Doo Doo in Horson Jr.'s hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out.
go in alone, you know? You'll stay outside. I can't let you go alone. If anything happens to you, Daryl will rip my head off. Someone must secure our retreat. There's bound to be a struggle. Things could get intense. We'll need to flee fast. Disappear in the crowd. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. On your knees, bitch! I've got you. An eye for an eye! Dudu, listen. This is what we'll do. Get that fucking whore! That's it, you're in for it! On with it! Grab the cut!
That's what happened. Told you true. Dudu, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Prick vanished. There, one moment. Gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, cause she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. Eternal fire, keep you safe. Your to the majesty of the eternal fire. Cursed mage hunters. I thought things couldn't get any worse. I believe I ate something terribly disagreeable. Back again, Rivian Trap. Geralt! Listen, I tracked down Horson Jr. Yes? And? Did you learn something? Yeah. Siri and Dandelion set out to steal Siggy Reuven's treasure for Horson. He promised to find someone who'd fix Siri's phylactery in exchange. I cannot believe she parleyed with the bastard. Why, it's widely known how anybody who packs with Wily ends. Siri was desperate, but you're right. Wasn't the best idea. Orson ended up wounding Siri just after he tortured Dudu. Dudu? Well, how is Dudu related to this in any way? Seems Dandelion got him involved. 
to help Ziri. Luckily, Dudu managed to escape, probably hiding somewhere now. <sighs> what of Wily? He's dead. Take care now. That is the... Do you seek book. to get me drunk, sir? Just look at the freak. If I was seeking what do you to get you want drunk, me? madame, we would not be drinking Cope de Blessure. I am ah. I believe I shall stop coming here. Why? <clears throat> Even with the ball on, I still manage to... <clears throat> Fine mess you made. Back there at Lock What's he doing here? Must be the drop box. Give the signal. Spies should show up in far corners before midnight. How'd you know to... Ah, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. Really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, Hyde. Indisposed. 
very indisposed. I don't know who you are, but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. That's no way to talk to a lady. To a lady, I never. But to a witch. You can. Wouldn't recommend it, though. Had enough? Fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can. But I'm just getting started. You must be thinking, this can't possibly hurt any worse. Oh, it can. Ah, enough! Enough! So, gonna talk? Ah, yes! Yes! Just tell me what the fuck about! Pure curiosity. Who do you work for? Won't say. No way. Sure about that? <laughs> Radovid. I work for Radovid. Where'd Manga hide Siggy Ruben's treasure? <laughs> I'm the clue. You realize one word and you'll howl in pain again. Yeah. Yeah, I still say I don't know a thing. Does that make you think? Think he's telling the truth. Ugh, looks like it. Radovid, what did he hope to gain by helping Menga? He seeks to clear the field. Before he arrives. Makes sense. Easier to take a city whose mages are gone. Bastard. He'll pay for this. We're looking for Dandelion. We know Menga captured him. That's what this is all about. A fucking minstrel. You might have said so from the start. Before you bloody started mucking my mind with magic. I, I can't believe it. For a miserable sap like that. Get to the point. The dandelion is on Temple Isle. In the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menger's planning to execute him in auction first. Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menke's orders. Issued in person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us? Not so fast, Geralt. I know. He's seen too much. <laughs> Why? I told you. I'll never... Either he dies, or I wipe his mind. Strip him of his memory. But... But I helped you. I helped... It's not so bad, I promise. Peace, slay, and gave. How do you feel? Base. Cruel. Vile. I could go on. But I need to get out of here. Now. Go home. Bathe. Then drink myself to oblivion. Walk you home? Not today, Geralt. Not today. But there is one other thing I wanted to talk about. So, mind coming by later? Menga's dead, true, but that hardly marks the end of my troubles. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island. And he'll stay there until Menga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? 
Mm hmm Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. Show me what you got.
sehr. Folk don't object to your white milk. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. Show me what you got. See ya. I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he disappeared, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time, this time he hasn't returned. Known do do long. I know this might sound strange, but I can't be sure. It seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assume Dandelion's form. What tipped you off? How do you know it wasn't Dandelion? You do not much of a singer. No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. 
We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion. Irina Renard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Floxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Dudu and the mummers, how'd they meet? That was my doing. Some opening night. Maxim lay comatose in his wardrobe, drunk as a otter. I thought of Dudu. Hard to imagine a better actor than a Doppler. And Dudu revealed himself to them just like that? I didn't think it wise to tell anyone. But Dudu and Irina took to each other completely and right away. He fell so hopelessly in love with the theatre. That he started performing with you? Yeah. Now Irina feels terribly guilty. They let him put himself in danger. She can't forgive herself. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. Not sure I'm cut out to write a play. Maybe you're better off doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see. We'll have a grand time together. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you. And that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence. Meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? More or less. That'll do. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Moller. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Or perhaps not. Wait. I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pavetta. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I've two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Let's go with The Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. You're right. A drama'd be better. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, 
breathe silently or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. <sighs> Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising? Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. Back again, Rivian Trap. I hope you go bald. I think I'm in love. Me? The war I drink. Sorry, I'll be that. 